Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. Uh, in the last episode I believe we took on Sabrina and I believe we beat her and we hit and yes we did and we were uh, startled by the fact that she has level 50 Pokemon and my Pokemon are only level what? Not even 40? My poor babies. But we took her down, we were able to handle it. I don't remember exactly how, I'd have to go back and look at my footage. Poor me, I know. But um, <laughs> so in this episode we're going to be continuing on and do and finally uh, progressing the story in a linear manner. Thank everything. Anyway, what we're now supposed to be doing is I went the wrong way and uh, we need to basically basically what we need to be doing is going to Fuchsia City. So, um, what we need to do now is head south from Fusa City, down through all the water routes, leveling up our Pokemon along the way. We might skip Seafoam Islands, but eh, I don't know. I like Seafoam Islands an okay amount, so who knows. But anyway, let's fight some dudes. Basically, we're just going to be traveling and fighting dudes this episode. Have to warm up before my swim. Good for you, friend. I just really wanted to play some more Pokemon, because I've been playing Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, and I have to remind myself that I do, in fact, like the, the regular games. <laughs> because I do! It's just that, god, these game- god, the- the- the-, the uh, sometimes the spin-offs are just so good. Seriously, though, buy Super Mystery Dungeon. I- I- I'm gonna try really hard not to gush about all the spoilers, because I'm really bad about spoilers, but it's one of the few games that I went into blind. I usually like knowing spoilers, but you know, I already knew that it's a Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game. I knew it was going to screw with my emotions and take me on a roller coaster ride. And it didn't disappoint. So, you know. Oh shit, that's actually gonna be a problem. Uh, okay, now we're fine. So, yeah. But buy Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. For your own sake, just it's totally worth every every penny. Oh my god, it's the best game I've played all year. Like, seriously. I Or the best new game, I guess. I, I mean, like, I have to think about that. But definitely one of the best games I've ever played. Like, holy mother of god. It's beautiful and amazing. Uh, whoa, dude, a heart attack? That's not something to be joked about. Okay, then, um, this is a little awkward now. Let's go ahead and rock slide. Not a problem at all. Yeah, Undertale can suck it in my opinion. I I found my favorite game of the I found my game of the year and it is glorious and beautiful and I love every second of it. All right, we got Horsey. Okay, I like Horsey. I'm just going to keep double kicking so I don't waste all the PP of my other moves because double kick has a lot more and these guys aren't really worth my time. Although they are, you know, they're technically super effective against me because I'm a nice heavy because I'm a ground type, but they're so far under my level, I really should have fought them earlier. But hopefully soon we'll have slightly more challenging things to fight. But not right now. Sad face. Go continue to kick stuff. So, other than that, what can I say? What can I talk about? Oh, right. I should probably talk about how uh, this drawing I did recently. I did a- oh hey, it's a Pikachu! Oh my gosh! Uh, I did a drawing of um, Frisk with uh, their uh, persona, uh, you know, like a Persona 4 AU. Frisk and their uh, Persona um, Tonberry, which is based off of Kara, because, you know. Dogs and burgers. God damn it. Undertale, why do you have to ruin my life so much? Oh my god, I actually have to go in and ask Nessie to surf. Let's do this. Hello. Oh my god, look at that. That's so cute. You look at the sea to forget. To forget what?
Well, whatever. Let's just take care of this. <sighs> okay. At least these guys are a little bit more challenging. Only by a couple of levels, but still, you know, better. Oh, sheesh. That's actually doing a, a decent amount of damage. So in case you guys were wondering, um, after this uh, Let's Play wraps up, I will be doing uh, Pokemon Crystal. Um, and, along with, you know, whatever I decide to do after Minish Cap. I'm not sure. But, you know, I want to try and release... I want to try and have a couple of different projects so that I always have something I want to work on. Because I want to be, you know, releasing Pokemon content pretty regularly. But I, uh, I also want to be able to do more stuff, you know? I kind of want to do ev bits of everything, because... I'm weird like that. Alright, Beast, that was awesome. I don't really... Um, I don't really have a whole ton of potions here, do I? What are all these again? Psywave. Yes, you could learn Psywave, but I've got Psychic, so I don't need it. I should probably go sell these and buy some things. Ooh, Toxic. That's right, I wanted to teach Toxic to Beast. Oh wait, no, 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 I can't teach Toxic to Beast because I have Rock Slide instead of Poison Sting, right? Hold on, let me look at this. Oh, nuts. No, I can't teach Toxic to Beast. I have to teach it to somebody else, like Overgrow. Overgrow would work. Overgrow doesn't have enough good moves. I should teach Toxic to Overgrow. Don't need poison powder if we've got toxic. Yeah, that should be fine. That's a good idea. Alright, we're good. Okay, I'm gonna go sell the rest of my TMs and stuff. Um, just so I can have some more potions. Always a good idea to have a little bit, a few more potions. But I gotta find the Fuchsia City Mart again, and this, 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 this yeah, the layout of this city is always weird to me. I don't really like the way this city is laid out. Too many cut trees for my liking. I mean, look at all this. It's ridiculous. I think it's just right over here, but I can never remember. No, see, I actually need- you actually need cut to get through the city. I think. Yeah, you- wait. Yeah, you totally do. Which is weird. But I mean, you know, I guess you need cut and you can't really- get rid of moves in this gen. Or wait, no. Can you get through around this way? Yes, you can. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. I ran into a Chansey. Oh my god. The fact that I had... I still can't believe that I actually ran into a Chansey in the Safari Zone. That never happens. I don't even care that I didn't manage to catch it. Okay. So I need to sell some TMs. Don't need Psywave. And then... Uh, I forget what TM40 and TM32 do, so I'll just... It looks like I've got plenty of space, so... Just give me some Hyper Potions. Um, 30 should be good. Awesome. Now let me go uh, put those up to the top of my of my thingamajig. I won't be needing that old rod ever, so and I can just swap. No, wait, no, not that. Like that, and then I can just swap the revives and the hyper potions. Whoops, the revives and the hyper potions. Okay. There we go, we're fine. Let's now let's move on. Um so let's think you know what I'm just gonna cut. Screw the rules. Oh right, I should probably heal my poor beastie. Uh do -do -do. That's the whole reason I thought about getting potions in the first place. So this is a so yeah. Go play Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Seriously. Do it. I'd, I'd wager that you'll like it more- like, 
I think I might like it more than Explorers, and I know that's heresy, I know it's heresy, but, 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 it's such a good game, like, it has a lot of, well, no, I don't want to spoil, I'm not going to spoil, I'm not going to say anything, but it's so good, you guys, holy moly. So freaking good. Can't believe I timed that with- <laughs> that's amazing. Okay, Nessie, if you would, ferry me across the water, as you do. Whee! I'm a Nessie! I'm a Nessie! I actually really like how in Pokemon X and Y, if you use a, uh, a Lapras to surf, it's actually a Lapras. I find that to be adorable. They didn't keep it in Oras, but that's because they swapped it out for Sharpedo and whatnot, which is- which is fine. Thunderbolt! Probably I should have gotten some repels, because these tentacles are not going to matter at all. I know this water isn't going to be very uh, interesting, but you know. That's what you, ha you have to deal with the water routes in Pokemon from time to time, and they don't always look very pretty. Thunderbolt! So basically this is all we're going to be doing for the rest of the episode. How long have we been going for right now? 12 minutes already, sheesh. Okay, well that's fine. We will continue to just fight things, I don't mind. For a long time, like I could keep gushing about Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon, but I don't want to because I don't want to spoil anything. Because I try to avoid spo- like, usually I don't try to avoid spoilers. Spoilers don't usually- don't usually ruin games for me. But, in this case I'm kinda glad I went in without any because I was an emotional wreck- uh, no. I shouldn't say anything. I'm really glad I didn't go into this one with spoilers, so I don't want to spoil anybody else. So I'm not gonna say anything. I should find something else to talk about. Um... Let me go back- I'll go back to the, uh, the, the, the Persona tale thing that I came up with. I, um, I came up with this idea that, you know, if Frisk had to face themselves, it'd probably be Kara's whole, like, uh, the world is just, uh, duh, blah, blah, the world is shitty and terrible and gah, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, Fr I feel like Frisk would subscribe to the idea that the world is shit, but also subscribe to the idea that people can fix it. I feel like that's a thing that would make sense. So, you know, Kara as Frisk's um, uh, shadow and then later Persona would make sense. And I figured, you know, if a, if a Persona was based off of Kara, let's see here, we've got a glowing heart, we've got sort of like a heart, and we got, you know, like the glowing soul, and we've got a big old grudge knife. What, what, and it's a cutesy appearance, is there something that looks cute and has a giant knife and a, le and a sort of, like, guiding light th Oh, right, it's a tonberry. Kara literally is a tonberry. <laughs> and I find that to be awesome. So I'm really glad about that whole thing. There's a guy I haven't fought yet. Bring it on. Let's do this. Okay, so yeah, I, I was going to, and um, I know Tonberries aren't technically like uh, mythological figure, mythological like creatures or whatnot, but they kind of are because, you know, video games are kind of, um, are kind of a, uh, are kind of real life mythology in a way, if you think about it. So, you know, having a recurring monster from a video game series is almost- is kind of like having, you know, a, uh... Oh, I remember how we beat it last time! It was like a final stand with Jolty, wasn't it? That was awesome! Yeah, I remember now. Uh, blah, I got off topic randomly, but yeah, so... Then I, uh, I tried to think about, you know, Asriel's persona. Is that a spoiler? Is Asriel's existence a spoiler? I don't know. People are weird about Undertale spoilers. I really don't. Th I really think it's better to go into Undertale knowing what you're gonna get, 
so that you aren't completely and utterly destroyed. But yeah, I was trying to come up with uh, everybody else's personas, and there's actual and uh, for the like, you know, the um, obviously Asriel's persona would be, you know, himself, sort of. But you know, giant goat dragon monster thing, covered in flowers, obviously. And you know, I tried to think, okay, are there flower monsters in mythology? And the the thing that I came across was. The, uh, the legend of the, um, was the, the whole Greek mythology thing about the lotus, about the lotus tree. And, you know, the people who would use the lotuses to, like, sort of trick people into staying forever. And I was like, oh my god, I could totally name his lotus dragon, his big flower dragon monster thing after that. That would be great. That would be perfect. And I forgot to change Nessie out. And so I figured, you know what? Yes, that, that's... I haven't drawn that one up yet, but I definitely think that's probably what I'm gonna what I'm gonna call it. I forget exactly what it's I forget exactly the word because you know it's like it's a uh, it has lotus in it, but there's a bunch of different things. What the? Why is there a beauty in the water? Shut up! Don't say anything. Use strength, torrent. I gotta find something interesting to talk about with these water levels. Um, I think the first legendary I ever caught was Articuno in the Seafoam Islands in either, I think in Fire Red or Leaf Green, I think in like Leaf Green or something. I don't remember which one I played, Fire Red or Leaf Green. But yeah, I think that was the first legendary I ever really successfully caught. I uh, didn't take enough Pokeballs and I didn't want to go adventuring all the way out because Seafoam Islands is huge. And so I just wasted my Master Ball on it. I used I used that Articuno a lot. I had never beaten I never beat the uh, the Kanto Elite Four until uh, a long time later, not that long ago actually. And uh, so even with that Articuno, I wasn't able to. It was weird. Can you shear cold another ice type? I know you can't do it if you have uh, if you're a lower level. But I wonder if any ice type can be shear colded. Like it might just it might I think it would be uh, interesting if you can't shear cold an ice, another ice type. But who knows? I mean it makes sense that you can't fissure a flying type, you know. They would just fly out of the giant bottomless pit. You're gonna fight all the things. You swam here, but you're tired. Good for you. I'm assuming you're going to be another? Yes. Why can't they just be swimmers? Why can't you have two brands of swimmer? You weirdos. Whatever. I've got a freaking plant. I've got a plant dinosaur. Dinosaur. I've got a, a beautiful dinosaur. I've got a <laughs> an awesome dinosaur frog with a made up flower backpack. Or tea scented dinosaur frog with a made up flower backpack. That is that is what the deck's called Venusaur. I, I like it. Tea scented flower, <laughs> tea scented dinosaur frog with a, with a made up flower backpack, something like that. I really, I do actually really like the the Bulbasaur line. I don't know if it's my, even though it's probably my least favorite starter line, it is still pretty cool because you know it's a tea scented dinosaur frog with an imaginary flower backpack. That's amazing. <laughs> but, you know, there's just so many other cool things. And I have a nostalgic affection towards the Squirtle line. And Charizard's just kind of cool, you know. Every other starter I just like a whole lot more. And it feels kind of bad. It's not that I dislike Bulbasaur's line. I just like everything else more and I hate that. Okay, so... We gotta get as many levels as possible. I don't remember if Blaine uses level 50 Pokemon. He probably does, considering that they used level 50 Pokemon the last couple. But I can't remember, and it would be just perfect, uh, just a perfect example of why this game makes no sense if they don't. If he, if he doesn't, if his highest level is, le is level like 48 or something. 
Or if it is level 50, and that's that would just make it even worse. Like, you know, oh, the level curve means nothing. How long have I been going for? 20 minutes? I might make this a short hit. I haven't gone anywhere, though, so I should probably keep going. I've just been fighting and fighting and fighting. And my cats are knocking things over again. Ugh. <sighs> I don't really feel like dealing with them right now. I really just kind of wanted to record and... I don't even know if I really wanted to do that. I just... I'm not to, I'm not talking a whole lot right now, so... But I felt bad that I hadn't been recording, so... Felt like I should... Really, I just want to play more Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Because did I mention how great that game is yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. But... Still, <sighs> God, I'm feeling a little tired mostly because I stayed up all night. God, I need to shut up about how much I love the game because I stayed up all night playing it. And my sister's gonna be here in like an hour. She's gonna want to play on her 3DS because it's technically hers, and I'm gonna be like, no, my game, no. No, no spoilers, no spoilers. I have to keep reminding myself because usually I don't, again, usually I don't care about spoilers. But in this case, in this case, oh man. Treacherous waters, huh? Apparently this is the one dude in a, all these females. Unless that guy was also a female. Unless that, that person was also a male. I don't remember I wasn't paying attention. Use Razor Leaf. Regularly effective works for Overgrow. Overgrow's good with stuff. Holy criticals, I love you, Overgrow. You know, it's kind of like that. You know, you kinda, you're just kind of ambivalent towards a Pokemon until you actually use them. And then you're like... Oh my god, you're actually really awesome. Like, like with Snivy, I was always sort of ambivalent to negative about Snivy. I never really liked Snivy, then I used him in the Pokemon trading card game. <coughs> Excuse me, and then I used him, and then I used him in a lot, and then I used him in a Wonderlock, and I was like, oh my god, I love Snivy. I don't know if it, I don't know if I like it as much as I love. Um, as much as I love the Oshawott line, because the Oshawott line is genius and I love it. But it is nice. Okay, so we're here with Jilty. Oh yes, I should probably mention, it is the holidays. Um, my birthday is actually coming up in a couple of weeks here. It's two weeks from tomorrow, actually. It's kind of interesting. Well, okay. It's on the 19th. I don't know when I'm going- I don't know when I'm going to actually get around to, uh, posting this. But as I record this, it is two weeks from tomorrow. So, figure out the day when I record this yourself. Blah, blah, blah. We've got a Tentacruel. Jelty's gonna make mincemeat out of the thing. Maybe not, because Tentacruel have surprisingly high special defense. As Chugga Con Oh my god, it's not even worth it. Probably because we were ten levels higher, but Jelty, sheesh. Calm down. So I think- oh no, this is... So I'm really trying to fight as many of the people as I can, but I really should have gotten repels. So there's a person here... oh, a couple of people, okay. <laughs> Why are you riding a Pokemon? Can't you swim? Uh, because this- it's the rules of the game! Don't comment on the game. don't comment on something you can't, like, you weirdos. Oh, oh crap. I forgot we were always out front. That's fine. We'll just use them for this fight and then we'll switch back to Jelty. I don't mind. I think after these next couple of battles I'm gonna call it an episode because it's not really, you know, I know we haven't really gone anywhere, but I think I don't remember this route being too long, so 
Soon we'll be at the Seafoam Islands, and the Seafoam Islands are where a lot of uh, interesting things are going to happen, because I will be trying to get through them. I don't want to skip them, even though I can. I do want to show them. I don't have the Pokeballs to go and catch Articuno right now, and I wasn't really going to... I wasn't really planning on doing it anyway. So, okay, we've uh, gotten both of our... I guess I'll let Blaze have a turn, although that's probably not a good idea. But, you know, we're 11 levels higher, so it's probably a fine idea. Let's go ahead and use Fly. It's probably our best move against these guys right now. That's a nice Seedra art, though. I didn't realize... I think this is my first time seeing the yellow uh, port the yellow sprite for Seedra, and it looks really nice. I like the pose, it's pretty cool looking. Ooh. Excuse me. Now we've got another horsey. We should be able to take this one out with fly by itself. Awesome. We're the best. Cool beans. Torpedoed, indeed. Okay, so... My nose is feeling a little stuffy, so if I sound a little funny, that's why. How long have we been going for? 27 minutes. Yep, okay, after this fight, we're gonna end off the episode. I kind of like that the default picture of for all water Pokemon is like a seal. I don't know why, but it's kind of cute. Okay, so we've got a Shelter. They've got really good defense, so maybe I should just... Nah, I'll just go ahead and dig. Dig a hole! Dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole! Aurora Beam's gonna do not a whole lot. Super effective! Why is it super effective if I'm a fire type? God, everything is so weird in this game. He almost landed a clamp, though. That would have been bad. Cloyster. Oh, yikes. Cloyster looks a little derpy, though. Michelle's a little bit too detailed, I think. Put a little bit too much effort into that. But who cares? Torrent, if you would. I actually kind of like these more simplistic sprites, because they kind of really easily, in gold and silver and crystal, tell you who can breed with who, most of the time. It's kind of nice. <laughs> kind of really quickly tells you, oh yeah, these these are the, uh, these are the, um, oh crap, we're confused, I didn't even notice. They kind of tell you, like, which egg group they're in, kind of a little bit. I mean, obviously it's not really the best, but it's decent. Seismic Toss is going to provide, um, helpful and, uh, it's going to provide very good the consistent damage, blah. And we take out that cloister and everybody is happy. Alright. Splash indeed. Alright, so... I think that's enough to call it an episode for today. I think... Let me check the map. I think I left... I think I put my town map way down here. Yes, there it is. Yeah, see, we're actually already nearly at the islands. So, this isn't a- yeah, see here, these are the Seafoam Islands already. So we actually made some decent progress. So, um, this has been- so in this episode, we headed south from Fuchsia City, did a whole lot of fighting, and got to the Seafoam Islands with just a couple of trainers left to uh, fight in the next episode. Um, in the next episode, we are probably going to take on the uh, Seafoam Islands and run away from this thing. Get away. So my level 5, I swear to god, the level the level variety with these tentacles astounds me. Anyway, in the next episode, we're going to take on the Seafoam Islands, get through them, hopefully. Maybe not, though, they're pretty large. But we're going to do that, and we're, and we're going to uh, continue on from the Seafoam Islands to Cinnabar, if we get the chance. Um, this has been Nightflower Love, this has been Let's Play Pokemon Yellow, and I will catch all of you guys on the flip side. Later!